stuff and doing the tax return, help you out with the tax return, help you out with the basically the entering of the paycheck stubs and so on and processing the payments. And then you might get something like the payroll ledger here that you would then still need to populate in some way, shape or form into your accounting system so that the accounting is correct with regards to the presentation of the assets, liabilities, income and expenses. You still want your financial statements, in other words, to be reported correctly, but you don't need so much detail in your actual accounting system if you're not processing the payroll within your accounting system. You do need that added detail for human resources purposes and so on in some way, in some way, shape, or form, either in a third party or in the accounting software that you are going to be using. So whether you're, you're doing it internally or you're doing it externally with a third party, generally a payroll register or reports like that will be generated and those will be used in order to give the supporting information to record the financial statement transactions, process the paychecks, give the pay stubs, pr and then print or process the quarterly 941 forms and the year-end 940 form and the W-2s and W-3s and so on. So we did this for month one, similar process for month two. Let's go to the practice tab and just go all the way to the right in the practice tab and we'll copy over starting at the same information and then we'll just we'll just uh, alter it for the second month. Now note that oftentimes you might say, isn't it gonna be exactly the same since I have the same two employees? Sometimes it could, but some complications could complicate that. So for example, the FIT, is, is a little bit complicated because it's a progressive tax. So you got to be careful with that and make sure you're pulling that information from the table. But if it's the same from month to month and there has been no changes on the W-4, that might remain the same. The Social Security and Medicare are typically easier taxes to calculate.